Well, district energy is really a, an, uh, an underground infrastructure asset that combines the heating and cooling needs of dozens or hundreds or sometimes thousands of buildings, uh, aggregates their heating and cooling loads, and then the, a central plant distributes steam or hot water or chilled water to each of the buildings so, so that they can avoid the capital costs of their own boilers and chillers. They have lower operating expenses. And uh, so it's really a, a community energy system that links thermal sources with, uh, with multiple users. Uh, the benefits of district energy in a community are that building owners are able to tap into a thermal network rather than having to own and operate their own boilers and chillers and cooling towers. It allows them to reclaim space that they would otherwise you know, dedicate to that equipment. They get a flatter electric load profile. They avoid emissions. It essentially makes, you know, it makes for a greener building uh, because they're not producing uh, you know, their own heating or cooling. But more than that, having a district energy system in your community uh, pr produces a, a scale of thermal energy use that then allows you to use things like you know, ocean water for cooling, uh, geothermal energy, um, waste energy from, from incineration, or even just waste heat from a power plant. So district energy creates a, uh, a, an opportunity for greener, cleaner uh, uh, thermal and, and cooling sources. District energy is used you know, right here in, the, in Washington, D.C. The Capitol Power Plant supplies steam and chilled water to all the buildings on Capitol Hill. Uh, GSA operates a plant in downtown Washington. They serve about 100 you know, federal buildings. So right here in, in the district, there are lots of district energy systems. But in every major college campus in our, in our country, from uh, you know, the Ivy League schools to the Big Ten, the Pac-10, most large uh, universities or colleges have a district energy system. Uh, also, all of our major cities, New York, Boston, Philadelphia, uh, San Francisco, district energy has been around for, in this country, over 130 years.